this is gonna be a little bit of a burn vlog. I'm gonna go. I finished all my schoolwork already, like I said, so I'm just gonna go hang out um, until later today, and then I will ooh hop back on my phone whenever um, I do something interesting. But I hope you guys enjoy today's video, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Where you got a question on TikTok. We'll put my username right here. And hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's like 5.15, so two hours later, I have been not doing anything. I have all my barn clothes here, like my sweatpants, and then um, barn t-shirts, winter long sleeves, summer long sleeves, tank tops, and then all my breeches. Um, oh, there she is. I'm really gonna wear. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> Be right so back. I ended up going with leggings, or riding leggings, and just this um, thermal base there. All right, I just got to the barn. So I got my dressage saddle out, white saddle pad, um, my girth grooming kit, bridal bonnet, polos, and now I'm going to grab my halter that I almost dropped, shut off the lights, and then I'm going to go get the towel. Hi baby! when he knows he sees all his tack and stuff. <laughs> oh, muffin.
gonna you go like, help my friend catch her horse because she can't. You have a song on TikTok that's on TikTok. It's like, oh, mother. That's how I feel with this speed fan. Okay. Hello. I caught him. Baby, got on man. I did not get a baby comes on man. Grow up, grow up here. He's like 20. Okay, squad, we're vlogging. We're in here, you know, with Melly. Sarah is struggling to get on. <laughs> and I'm gonna set up the Pivo and then we go ride. All right, so I always start out my rides with Melvin by walking on a long rain for like 15 to 20 minutes. He has a horse that gets very, very tight um, in his back and his pole and his hind end as well. So I really like to let him stretch. So this was um, towards the end of our walk warm up. So I'm starting to ask him to bend through my inside leg and flex with his neck from the pole. Right here he goes off the trot because I'm trying to keep him forward while he's doing that to engage his hind end. And I keep things very simple for him. Um, I'm still getting used to the dressage saddle, so also things easy for me. Right here I'm doing a little bit of a leg yield, just a super easy leg yield um, on the long rein still just to um, get his hind end a little bit more engaged through his back and he had a couple steps where his pole lowered a little bit which was really good and then right here I ask him to trot on I do posting trot for my warm-up and then here through this long side he surprised me with a really really nice trot straight off the back which I was really happy with, and obviously his head comes up again, um, but that's okay, we're still working on his overall fitness, so I was really happy with that, so I praised him, and then he offered me a nice trot on the other side, other, other long side, not quite as nice as the other one, but still very nice for him, especially for our warm-up, so then I asked him to walk because he was getting a little bit too forward, and I asked him to trot on again, and then same thing, he offered a couple really nice steps of trot right here, 
which I praised him for. And he's a horse that thrives off um, vocal praise, so that's what I did. So right here, I'm doing a 20 meter circle to start getting his body a little bit more bent around my leg. And I'm more focusing on the engagement of the hind end where, and not where his um, head is. And right here my head went up because my friend said a joke and I was laughing. I don't usually ride like that. Um, but right here his head is starting to lower a little bit. And then he comes back up, but that's okay. And I did that on the other end as well. Then we do our canter warm up. Our canter transitions are definitely something that I need to work on myself. So for our canter warm up, I'm more focused on keeping him forward and bent. And then, as well as my position, I've been struggling a lot with my position, so I just work a lot on that, and then let him do whatever he wants. Um, so just keeping him forward, and bending. I like to canter on a 20 meter circle as a warm up, and then go large. Unfortunately, the Pivo um, got distracted by the other horses in the arena at a certain point, so I don't have footage of everything. But see, here I'm going in my half seat to get his back a little bit free. Um, and you can see as soon as I go off his back, his um, head lowers. So I think um, it's just a tightness issue for him. And then right here, we trot and go large. I'm doing sitting trot because um, that's what I'm be writing my tests in. And he tenses up a lot, but I'm trying to talk to him and make him relax. And then right here, he offers a little bit of a nice trot, so I praise him. And then his head comes up again, but that's okay because his hind end was still engaged. And then I walk and give him a walk break before cantering on the other rein. So this is our hard rein for the canter. Um, you can see right here he's moving a little bit slower than I would have liked, but his hind end is still tracking up, so ideally you would have a little bit more forward. This is a decent canter transition for him on the left and our biggest issue right now is that he um, motorcycles through the turns and the circles because his hind end isn't strong enough to push him up and over and I also have trouble keeping his shoulders straight so that's what we're working on and you can see right here he breaks to the canter because I was asking a little bit too much bend which was my fault so i just ask him to have a nice trot again nice balanced trot using your hind his hind end um flexing a little bit and then whenever i feel like he's relaxed then i'm gonna ask him to canter again so that was again a good canter transition for the left lead um so he's really really tight and using the underneath side of his neck whereas we want him to use the top side of his neck here he breaks again but this time it was because he was getting a little tired so i just pushed him back into the tr in the into the canter and then same thing just trying to ask him to bend and right here um he has a tendency where he slows down um in the canter and then throws a little kick so I asked him to just move forward off my aids there and he got a little angry but right here I asked him to trot to reward him for moving off my aids and then I'm just gonna go large so I didn't get some of the other work we did on the other rein unfortunately because the other girls were riding around but now we have a really nice left lead canter for him and we're just keeping it super easy this was done through like an hour and with trot work in between um, and then right here, I ask him to trot, and he falls on his forehand a lot through the downward transitions, especially on the left. So that's why I raised my hands a little bit. But now you can see we have a really nice trot right there, using his hind end and coming down through the, his neck. I do a little change of direction right here, and ask him to pick up his right lead canter. Just that way we end on the easier canter lead. And then 
uh, the people got lost, but here's pretty much what we did. We just did another circle on uh, the right lead. And that was a really nice couple steps right there, and still it's nice. So we're going large. And then I just did... I don't think my clips are in order, but, um... I did a little bit more candor on this side, like, through the end. So, like I said, this was filmed through, like, an hour ride. So, this is all the candor work we did. Nothing more. Um, with a lot of trout work in between. But I just didn't get any footage because the girls like to, like, canter around and trot around while I, um, do my trot work. So the people got lost and started filming them, which is what you get for. Yeah. Um, we're just cooling out the ponies. Come, come, love on, and then Judy's behind her. And he's being a really good boy, but it's turning right now, so we'll see. We'll see how he is through the barn. <laughs> So, I'm going to bring him into his stall, and he's going to get his dinner. Let me just try to open this. So he has his dinner that he's clearly very eager for. He has some hay. He's going to get more um, in like an hour when they come do night check. And then he has some water. So yeah, he's a very good boy. So that's it for Maddie. <laughs> good night, bud. to let go of me. So I might need some new ones soon. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, 
I'm gonna take my helmet off. And then I usually like to clean my pack um, every time I ride. I know it's like personal preference or whatever. Um, but my, so I lease through a uh, school, like a riding school. Um, and in the contract, they get you like a saddle and a bridle and everything. Um, obviously very grateful. So they got me a Drizal saddle, which you would have seen. And it's quite a nice saddle, but it's old, so it needs some like, there's a little bit of love. So, I'm gonna give it some love. All right, I'm gonna do the outro here since I'm just gonna go home and shower anyways. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I'll see you guys the next time I post. Um, and please let me know in the comments any like suggestions of videos. Um, I'm limited with what I can do. I only have two hours at the barn to ride, tack up, untack, all that stuff. So keep that in mind. Um, and on my Instagram, I'm going to have a Q&A tab up soon. Um, probably the day that I post this. So go put your questions in there because I'm going to do a little Q&A. Hope you guys enjoy.